Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's a good one. I'm trying out one of the brand new Burberry Glow Face Palette. We're gonna get it on the cheeks. We're gonna get it on the eyes. We're gonna talk, we're gonna do swatches. We're gonna do all that, okay? We're gonna do all that. So if you wanna see how it came together and what this cute thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay, quickly, today's Breezy Tea product of the day. I'm wearing our boho head wrap in Dusty Rose. Um, beautiful for this time of year. Um, this is actually perhaps our most popular color right now. So long piece of uh, a silky fabric that you can fashion into any style you want. And you can visit us at breezytea.com to check out our range. Okay, so about a week and a half ago, I was minding my business when chic profile um popped up with this burberry palette now just real quick shout out to tavia she's awesome her instagram page chic profile is a really great place to see sneak peeks of products and she has an awesome thorough blog as well and she's just a nice lady so i really like tavia and so anyway, so the, the palette, she posted the palette and I was like, whoa, Burberry. What drew me in immediately from the photos were how dark, was how dark the um, contour bronzing shades were. I was like, this is from Burberry? I was impressed with how dark, and immediately I said, okay, this looks, this looks brown girl friendly. I'm happy about this. Let me see what's going on. So I got it, got it at a discount, which is awesome. Now, right now, I believe it's only being sold at Look Fantastic um, in Europe. Um, I don't know their their shipping situation worldwide, but presumably it's going to eventually get to the States, go other places, but I picked it up so we can dig into this and see how it looks. Now, I'm gonna put it on my cheeks, obviously, my face, but I'm also gonna try it on the eyes because I think the colors are really pretty. So let's look at the packaging and look at the colors and do all that stuff. So I love the packaging. It's in the brown, that beige um, Burberry, plaid color so i actually love the packaging and it also has like the twill even on the packaging it looks like silk twill uh the lines in it the burberry let's mimic the plaid i suppose now this is the outer case in gold and again in like the burberry plaid okay so the gold there and then here is the palette ow gosh now this is zero two. There are two face palettes. There's zero two and then there is zero one. Okay, so we have a sculpt dark brown, a sculpt medium brown, blush coral, blush fuchsia, highlight nude gold, highlight rose gold. So these just look very, very pretty and the design on it, I love it. Hopefully this translates. Again, the lines are on it and it just reminds me of uh, Silk Twill. That's what it, that's what it's. Looks like, so very, very pretty. No scent. Let's get to, let's try swatches first. Let's do some swatches and then let's get it on the face. So we have the Sculpt Dark Brown first, which is a cream. Then we have the Powder Sculpt Medium Brown, then Blush Coral and Blush Fuchsia, then Highlight Nude Gold and Highlight Rose Gold. This is the 02 Medium to Dark Essentials Glow Palette from Burberry. So as I said, the dark brown is a cream here, and then the medium brown is a powder. Now, these are not matte, okay? Each one of them has a sheen. So I'm excited to get it on the face specifically to see if it gives that nice, like, glowy, you know, finish. So swatching that dark brown, that's gonna be too dark for me, for my, for my skin. I don't like that big a gap between my skin color and my bronzer. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna save the cream one for um, the eyes and I'm going to use the medium brown for my bronzer. So let's go. I look bruised up top, which we'll, we'll handle that in a second, no worries. No worries, that's definitely gonna be handled. Definitely pigmented, that's for sure. I'll pull back the forehead. And you get a decent amount of product in here. These are nice size pans. These are really nice size pans. It's 15.5 grams or 0.54 ounces. 
um, in here. So these are decent size individual crayons. This medium brown has like red undertones. And for me, and I've said this, I think I just said this in my last video, I don't mind, I, it works okay for me, the ones with red, one of my favorite ones from Bobby Brown, um, has red in it, so I'm okay with that. Okay, I've buffed it out. And because I got this for the bronzers, I wanted you to see the two together. This is the cream one, the dark brown, and this is medium brown. Please keep in mind that in the lights, it may appear a little brighter. Um, you could definitely, hopefully you can see that this one is pulling red. So that's just something to note, the medium brown. The chocolate brown, not as much, not as much, okay? So this definitely has less red in it. And this one pulls more red, but for me, works on my skin tone, super pigmented, and I'm just gonna put very little because I do not want my nose to be overwhelmed. Just a little bit here. Now let's move on to the blushes. I'm gonna apply the, what's the correct name? Blush, <laughs> kept it simple. Coral on one cheek and let's see. Well, geez, that showed up right away. Okay, so a, a little bit goes a long way. I'm using my Cashewin brush that I bought for, what did I buy this for? For um, cleanser, face cleanser. But I find that I don't use it like that. So I'm using it for blush. I'm gonna be honest and even swatch, there's not a huge difference between the two colors, but you can definitely see one leans more coral and one is more pink. So the fuchsia is, there's not a big difference between the two though. Bad thing, good thing, that's for you to decide. But yeah, was a lot going on in terms of the difference in the colors. Okay. So that's enough for the, the coral, it's very pretty. And there is a nice, I'll build it up a little bit more. There is a really nice sheen to it. I like the finish a lot. You get that nice little layers of, of glow. I love these natural hair bristles, like quick wipe and it's good to go for another round. Let's do fuchsia on this side. You should come in out. And I, this brush is really making me happy. It's buffing it out nicely and diffusing it at the same time. I um I love this plaid. I like plaid though. I went to a uh, Catholic high school in New York. And um, I always thought our uniforms were super cute. I liked our uniforms. So we got coral on this side, fuchsia on this side. Yeah, the coral might be a little brighter then the brighter, I don't know if that's the right adjective. You can, I can definitely see the difference. This one does lean more pink. Coral, very nice, very nice. Let's get to the highlighter. Before I have to work, I'm gonna, I've got some products to make directly after I finish this video. But before I do, I have to seriously wash my brushes. Does anybody else procrastinate like I do? I am such a procrastinator. I think I'm gonna go with the rose gold first. The rose gold highlight. So as you can see, the, the I hope you can see, I can see it right away, this is very pretty. This is very pretty. But what I was going to say was, these are the kind of blushes that you can obviously wear as like a blush highlight, should you choose to. And I am doing this for the sake of the video because I actually think I might like it as a blush highlight. This is very pretty though. This highlight shows up straight away. It does, it does. And now for the gold with the fuchsia. Beware, a little bit goes a long, and I didn't do much in that pan and it's still too much for me. So just go very slow. 
This seems to have picked up more than the than the um the rose gold. I was a little worried about the gold that it might be too too pale, leaning that weird like a strange color, but it's not. It's pretty. So we got the fuchsia with the gold. And what I like about these is it's kind of seamless. It's not, you know, powder highlighters for me, especially as I get older, are tricky. Anything, as you get older, your skin changes can be tricky. Things you used to be able to wear, highlight, emphasize things now that you don't want emphasized. So powder, I, I, I like, I'm liking cream products more and more, but actually this is, this is really nice and seamless. I like how it's kind of just going from the cheek to the highlighter blending in really, really nicely. So I'm just gonna take rose gold here, bridge of the nose. No further than that, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. And just to get full use of this palette, I'm going to put some on the eye. Let's do one eye together on camera, then I'll do the other one off camera. So I'm taking the, the um, coral blush and putting it all over my eye. Just to zhuzh it up. For pigmentation's sake, I'll try the fuchsia too but I can already see that I like this, prefer this on the cheek, cause I'm not really getting, I'm getting the, the, like the finish, but not really too much color. So let me try, uh, see if I see more with the fuchsia. I mean, it's giving me a little pizzazz. Not doing much in the way of, well, yeah, maybe a little bit, it's, it's slight. You have one palette, 10 minutes. You wanna kinda of get as much as you can get done. It's like this kind of palette. And now I'm just gonna take that brown cream color. I would never really mix the cream and the powder like this, but again, because it didn't work on my face, it was too dark as a, a it was too dark as a um, contour for me. I'll probably just do it with my finger. I'm just gonna tap it here. Just a little something, eh? Not bad for a two second eye. And then let's take the gold Maybe right here. Put a little in the tear duct. I'm not gonna put any in the brow bone because it's it'll be too much sparkle, not sparkle, it's not It's not sparkly. Here's a sheen, satin kind of finely milled situation going on. Just quickly, I absolutely take back what I said about the colors on the eye and not seeing it. it the fuchsia came through more than the coral. So I actually really love the fuchsia with the um, cream brown just on the outer part of the eye. I think it came together pretty. I just happen to like pinks best with brown on me. So uh, if you're darker than me, just for you to gauge, I wasn't able to wear the cream dark brown color as a bronzer because it would have been too dark for my skin tone. And if you are my complexion, I feel like medium, now remember it pulls red, um, is a nice, it really nice for me. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to go any darker than this. And there is a second one, 01, with presumably uh, the, the bronzer should be lighter. So that's just something to consider. I really do hope this was helpful. I think this is a very, very nice palette. Again, a few minutes to just zhuzh up your face. This will get the face, you can do the eyes, and you, it can be done really quickly. And I'm happy, happy with the performance, happy with the um, the finish on everything, there's just a nice healthy glow to the face, not too overdone, the bronzer gives you a glow, so you have a nice, even, healthy glow going on. So I hope this video was helpful. I know some people were interested in how it would look on brown skin, so if you found it helpful, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
Did you get it? Are you thinking about getting it? Do you have a favorite Burberry product? Let me know below. And just thanks for watching. And if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, just visit us at breezytea.com where you can find those and our other hair products. And our Instagram for the business, the hair product is down below. And then my beauty Instagram, Breezy's blog is down below too. So you can follow me there. And I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.